Welcome to this episode. In this episode, I would like us to be able to look to create the quiz page here, but I will also want to use it to do other general issues. So probably I might be able to just make these tabs active and then also do something a little bit more in the header section. So if this video reaches at a point where I want to terminate it. Maybe we can just say that will be the scope of it, but at least we will go up to having this page created. And then from there, we can be able to set it up in our next tutorial video if the video will seem to be that long. So let us go ahead and see what we can be able to do about it. I want us to open the header. In this case, our header.view, our navigation. And so above here we have the pills and currently we are having the homepage being active. I also would like to also include um, something else which is a uh, the app name so i also want to do that so here i'm going to just have a div with a class of a call md3 mb2 mb And inside here, I want us to have a link. So, link. And uh, we will close it in a similar fashion. Link. And I want us to have a href tag. So when this link is clicked, it will just hit uh, this endpoint and then I want also to have a class and um, for this class I want us to have a flex so D in inline flex these ones are just bootstrap classes link body emphasis and uh, then probably we can have a text decoration of none maybe let us just leave it like that let us just leave it like that and inside here we can uh, have something that i want us to call the application name so we probably can use a span so you have span like that and we can have app name app Probably I can also have a class of uh, just sort of like the font size like that and we are having yes because this one is supposed to be a closing tag so like that I'm saving and we still have a problem invalid and tag so link and then we yes we we started with small letter so now i think this will be fine it's supposed to be capital this is link comes from uh inertia js so 
uh, instead of having the a tag, the anchor tag, we change it to link, and then we are able to leverage Inertia such that we can be able to use this the same way we did for the other of these uh, values here. And I would like to just go ahead and fetch the app name. So in our shared, you will go to handle inertia requests here. I want us to get the app name. And so we are going to actually get that app name from uh, config. So in this case, before the flash message, I can also just say we want something else which we are going to call app name exactly typed like that and we are going to check config so the configuration file and we are going to have app.name like that and this one you give us the app name in this case the name of the application that has been set in the ENV. So let me check what we have in the ENV currently. Yes, currently it's called Laravel. So let us just have it like that first of all, and then we will be able to modify. And then now in our um, in our page, in this case header.view, this is what I want us to do for us to be able to access that so let us uh, do something about that so what we are going to do we are going to also import use page so in this case instead of writing them twice I can just put a comma here and write use page from inertia and then we are going to set const page we are going to set it to use page like that and then after that we can also now get the, the app name so const const app name in this case we are going to access it with a computed property so computed and then we will uh, have it like this and we can access it uh, using page dot props dot app name like that and then we have to import computed from Vue.js so import uh, computed from V like that can be able to save this and let us check if it is working so I will refresh and in this case we are having Laravel here the display is not that nice but when we click on it again it's a link it returns us to the home page so here we are at questions and here we are at home page like that I will leave it like that I'm not going to do so much of formatting here because it is not the intention of this video uh, because I would like to have enough time to be able to just focus on whatever it is uh, most uh, mostly whatever it is that uh, relates to every other thing so i want to go to the env and change the name so you go to our env and i want to change this name and i'm going to call it um can you use Kali, Kali, we can use quotations if it is a two name uh, or a name with a space you cannot just write a name and a space and then you will have an error so I'm going to say quiz application like that and then I will save 
so once we save it once it's refreshed now we are going to find that now the name will change to quiz application so let us give it some time for it to be able to load and then I want us also to go ahead and uh, as we wait for it to load let me see not yet as we wait it as we wait for it to load I want us to also still in the header be able to modify the active link so you can see once we have nav link and then it has active in front of it in the home page this is how it you display with a bluish in other words this will be saying to us it's a currently selected and you can see now the name is quiz application that one is okay so we want when we click on quiz and as you can see for now quiz we do not have anything about it so we are getting 404 and when we click on questions we want questions to be the one that is active the one that is bluish and the others be like this so i want us to do something about that and so for us to be able to do that we will have two classes and we are going to uh, dynamically bind the classes in this case whether we have the url being the current url or not so that is what i'm going to do and so what i'm going to have we are going to have two different classes and uh, for the first class so let me just uh, modify this let me modify this let me just have it the way it is and then we will remove it so class we will delete it after we are done with what we are doing here and i want to us i want us to have curly braces and inside here the first thing is a uh, nav hyphen link active so we will set it exactly the way it is here and we have a condition as to when we will do that so i put a full column and i'm going to put our condition we can say page dot url is equals to in this case uh, this so in other words just the forward slash then it will be able to use this nav link or else if that is not the case then we need to give a class of just nav uh, link like that and we will give nav link and we are going also to state the condition so I will put a colon and say if page dot url is now not equals to so we can just say not equals to uh, what we have here so not equals to this like that so if the page url is uh, the home page in this case just the forward slash like this we are going to render the nav link as active and if not we are going to just have nav link like that and i want to delete this other class that we have here and i'm going to copy the same class it is the one that we are going to use for all the other uh, pages so let me just copy up until here and we are going to paste for the other two links so here i'm going to just replace this class here with what we have but now our nav link is quiz and if it is not equals to forward slash quiz like that and then the last one we are also going to replace with questions this one we are going to replace here with questions and when it is not equivalent to questions like that.
so I'm going to save and now as you can see if we click on home then this bluish comes to home quiz of course there's nothing on quiz so we are going to work on that in a short while questions now questions is active so that is how you can be able to implement active link and i think i would like to stop this video here such that in our next tutorial we are able to now uh, work on the quiz uh, page so thank you very much for following this tutorial up until here